Hello chess friends. I'm excited to share an amazing game between Stockfish and Torch. In this match, I made a daring move by sacrificing my knight, making it one of the most incredible games I've played. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you've imagined, let's dive into the game. I began with the move d4, to which my opponent Torch responded with knight f6, followed by knight f3. Torch then opted for the Spielmann Indian variation by playing c5, this move may seem like it offers a free pawn, but it's important to note that black can swiftly recapture it with the bishop, attempting to protect the pawn could leave black open for a counter-attack, so d5 and Torch continued to advance on the queen side. Possibly with the intention of fianchettoing both bishops, in a couple of moves, you could consider playing a4 to open up your rook's file, let me show you the variation, after pawn takes pawn, followed by knight to c3, d6 e4 and g6, e5 then we will push the d-pawn, it's a poison pawn, which means you can't take it, by playing h6 to force the bishop to move, we will do first piece exchanges, then the killer move will arrive knight to b6 to fork the king and rook, after knight a6, rook takes pawn. Followed by bishop to g7 and d7, it indeed looks like a difficult position for the opponent, the threat of knight to c7 forking the king and rook could bring great pleasure for white, but in our actual game, I played pieces exchanges on f6, e4, it loses the pawn but it will help me to develop my pieces quickly, for that reason we have a6 knight d2 d6 a4 to open up the rook file, torch played b4 to create a great wall of china, in response I played e5 to break through, after torch captured the pawn. I followed up with h4, the moves a4 and h4 seem to be shaping up as a strategic part of my plan to improve my piece positions. If you can do what you do best and be happy, you're further along in life than most people, so we have knight d7 knight g5, the aim is to advance my rook to target the f-file for potential attacks or consider knight to e4 to control key squares on black's kingside, so we have e4 to open the diagonal, bishop here queen takes b2, I castle to ensure the safety of my king, and it's becoming clear that black's position is less developed, so Torch played the best move f5 to protect his center pawn. c5 to sacrifice another pawn, if you dare to capture it, then we will play d6, sacrificing the knight and the pawn at the same time, you may capture the pawn then we will play bishop check, knight e6 check and mate. Sometimes you can't see yourself clearly until you see yourself through the eyes of others, so back to the position, Torch played knight e5, protecting these squares, so after c takes b4, capturing the pawn isn't the best choice, since it allows rook to b1, followed by regaining the pawn with the queen, this would severely limit black's position, donkey brain like human might consider g6 but moves like bishop 2. b5 would create a problematic situation for them, so back to the position, Torch played g6 first to develop his bishop and his position, so I create some problems for him with d6, if you dare to capture the pawn then after completing pawn exchanges, we will play rook b1, the files will be completely open for me, therefore I will sacrifice my knight on e4, queen d5 will target to the rook, rook a7 then we will play rook b8 to target it, rook c7 queen e6 check and that's it. Regardless of my opponent's moves, it appears that I have a strong position, and after some peace exchanges, moves like bishop to d8 and rook to d1 could lead to a decisively favorable position for me. All life is an experiment. The more experiments you make, the better, so back to the position, we have bishop h6 to lasering the knights, but it's too late for black, because I have knight takes e4 move, sacrificing the knight to open up the queen file, take and we have queen d5, creating pressure to the rook and the f7 square, d7 is a big threat which will lead into a checkmate, so torch played rook b8 rook to b1, e6, taking the black queen might not be the best move since it would lead to a queen exchange, and black would have an extra piece, putting you at a disadvantage, so we have knight takes e6, if you capture it then after takes, no matter where the king will go, he will be checkmated, so back to the position, we have queen c3 knight takes c5, Torch is completely losing here because I am the boss, I defeated him more than 70% of games and the joker Gotham Chess says that Torch destroyed me completely. No gorilla, no one was born to destroy me, d7 is a big threat, 
so Torch played knight b6 to protect that square and target to the queen, he also open up his queen lines, we have queen takes check, king ups queen e7 check king g8 queen c7 to target the rook, rook e8 check is coming so we have knight d7, to protect the rook and the f8 square, but it doesn't matter to me because I have the crazy knight rook and queen tactics, so king f7 rook check king g8, what should I play now? The king is completely exposed and his most the pieces are not in the right combination, I decided to capture the knight with rook. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.